Producer Rupert Hine has died. He was 72. No cause of death has been released so far. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. He was a very prolific solo artist, but he's best known as being a writer and producer for so many different people, working with acts like Yvonne Elliman from Jesus Christ Superstar, Anthony Phillips, Wise, After the Event in 1977. Anthony and I just talked about that album. And Sides in 78. Uh, multiple projects with Murray Head, as well as Camel, I Can See Your House From Here, from 1979. There was a lot of work for him. Uh, tons of albums with Saga, and The Fix, for that matter. Chris DeBerg and his breakthrough album, The Getaway, from 1982, when he started going pop a little bit. Tina Turner. Multiple projects there, including the big one, Private Dancer, which brought her back onto the charts. Howard Jones, many, many albums with him. Howard Jones released a, a statement today, said he'll miss his old friend. He's well known for working with The Fix, Thompson Twins, Close to the Bone, the album from 1987. He was very close to Bob Geldof and worked with him very often. Stevie Nicks, the album The Other Side of the Mirror from 1989. Rush, two albums, Presto in 1989. And Roll the Bones from 1991. He worked on some pop albums with Duncan Sheik, the self-titled album from 1996, and the follow-up called Humming in 1998. And and Suzanne Vega, Songs in the Red and Gray, 2001. Incredibly prolific, incredibly in demand, and a man who always seemed to have a smile on his face whenever you saw him in a picture. There was a lot going on up here. May he rest in peace. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.